Now we learned about these dynamic segments in the last lecture. Now this is a super important feature. Now I want to take a closer look at it and dive a bit deeper into what we can do with these dynamic segments and also with responses we sent back in general. Now here we have this dynamic segment to hold any possible month value. And currently this simply will handle any request to localhost 8000 slash challenges slash anything. Whatever you enter thereafter will be handled by this path. Why? Because it's the only path and because it has this placeholder segment here, which is matching anything which is being entered. Now Django has one other neat feature related to the dynamic segments here, which can be useful from time to time. It is able to convert the concrete value which is entered in the URL, which is then caught by this path and passed as an argument to this view function, that this value can be converted to different types, most importantly to strings or numbers. So that for example, here we know that our month should be a string and therefore we can add str colon in front of our dynamic segment identifier. This tells Django that the concrete value entered here should be treated as a string and should be converted to a string. Now why does this matter? Well, maybe we also want to support challenges slash one, for example and one should then represent January. At the moment, this also loads this monthly challenge because one is simply transformed to a string here. But maybe we want to add a new view here. Let's say the monthly challenge by number view function, which gets a request and which also should get the month but in there, month should not be a string, it should be a number. And there, we then for the moment want to return a HTTP response where we just output that parameter value which we're getting. Now this view here, monthly challenge by number, should be triggered dynamically, but only if this segment here is a number. If it's a string instead, this other monthly challenges view should be triggered. This can be implemented with help of this helper transformation here. We can add a second path here and simply name it month as well, but add int colon in front of it. This tells Django that this segment should be transformed to an integer. And hence only segments that can be transformed to an integer will match this path. And then here we want to trigger the monthly challenge by number function. The order here also matters. We first want to check for month being an integer and possibly convert it if it's convertible and call this view. And then only as a second step, if this dynamic segment is not a number, we want to check uh, or want to call this other view here, which handles any other values basically. With those changes made, if we visit challenges slash one, we see one here, which is our new view function doing some work. And if we instead enter February, we see that other text. And if I enter October, I still see that 404 text. And that's why this feature is convenient. It allows us to filter for numbers specifically and find out whether the dynamic segment is a number. It then also converts this into a number so that in this view, month will be of type number. And it allows us to run different logic based on the value type of the dynamic segment. Most importantly here, ints and strings. A similar concept does not exist for booleans, for example, but with ints and strings, we have the two main cases that we typically have in URLs where you might want to differentiate. Now here, this is just a little demo, of course, but this can come in handy and that's why I did want to emphasize it here. Now still, I want to continue with that though and I now want to make these two views truly a bit more helpful. I want to cover all 12 months and I want to make sure that 
If we enter slash one, for example, this is simply translated to January and forwards us to the January route. These are the things we're going to do in the next lectures.